Not content with their electrifying start to 2014, a shock revelation midweek their strike centre was 100%, added a little more swagger to the joint competition leaders. It start heritage round from the bench against a Parramatta side looking to end a run of 20 straight defeats on the road. Jared Hayne testing the Broncos early. He'll be too quick for them, he goes through, still going Hayne. He's a metre out, oh, crash and tackle. Corey Parker was left seeing stars after this hit on Penny Terrapo, while Jared Hayne was proving a marvel at the back. Jared's got to go touch and goal, no it's not. If he gets out, it's a miracle. And he does, he does. The Broncos appeared up to the challenge. Oh, look at his defence. Get that into you. Parramatta would take it in and then dish it out, breaking the Broncos down the right. The ball goes to Sando. Sando's in for the 30. CO in support. And the ball's been knocked down. CO regathers it. Try. It's a try to Parramatta. Will Hopawate picking up the scraps for his first since returning. The Eels have the locals rattled and they'd soon deliver another jolt. Oh, good skill. Red Radra, away on the outside, down the touchline, back to Red Radra, into space, he's got support on the inside, he runs away from the support, Barber chases, Red Radra is still going, Red Radra, he gets up, goes again, it's a try, but they want to have a look at it. They'll be looking at Rad Radra's effort for years to come. Chris Sandow would add the extras for a 10-0 lead before Justin Hodges announced his return with a trademark run. Pushes away from Allgood and Rad Radra. Still going, still going over the top of Copley. They're going to score a remarkable try. The brilliance of Justin Hodges. They hung off him and they point to the spot and it's 10-4. Corey Parker would receive a helping hand from the woodwork for the Broncos to trail Parramatta 10 points to 6 at half time. A one in a million kickoff from Corey Parker to start the second half. Swirling around, hit the upright while they're pouring through and the ball went ahead and all those years Ray Price waited like a praying mantis. He never caught it and he's not here tonight. The Eels paying no price for the crossbar calamity but they'd soon be in the red as Ben Hunt decided to go it alone. He's inside the 20. He's got support. He threw the dummy to Barber and scores out of the post. The Parramatta would immediately return fire. Their superstar skipper making it look easy from a set piece. Hain, 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 Hain. The Hain trains back. Sandow converting for a four-point lead, but it wouldn't last long. Out the back, Benny Hunt, right foot kick. CA is isolated, goes high, lost it, regathered it, lost it, regathered it, lost it, and went straight to Maguire under the post. Well, how could that happen? The Broncos snatching back the lead, but they were soon on the back foot. Barber's got it covered. Oh, no, he hasn't. Takes the ball, but he would put back into the in goal area. And from the next set. From acting half, they go. Almost there. Did they get it down? I think they did it to try. Nathan Peets extracting the full toll from Ben Barber's error delivering a four-point margin. A Justin Hodges bump off the ball in range would stretch the lead to six before Chris Sandow took the game out of Brisbane's reach. It's going towards the uprights. That's a remarkable kick. Chris Sandow kicks a field goal. Chris Sandow gives them a seven-point buffer. Parramatta holding on to defeat the Brisbane Broncos 25 points to 18. David Murdoch, NRL.com.